Hey guys, quick question. Do you have mentors? Like, do you have someone besides like your parents or like your big sister or big brother that you can go to to talk or to um, figure out things or to pray with you or, or whatever? Um, because it's really important. I feel like when we get to adulthood, we think that we don't need anyone else telling us what to do. And we don't think that um, anyone should ever tell us what to do. But I am an advocate, like I am so pro mentor. I am a mentor to the teen girls at my church and I have mentors above me as well. So I don't know, I just feel like we get grown and we feel like ain't nobody, don't nobody got to tell me to do nothing, ain't nobody checking for me, ain't nobody check. So like besides your friends, like I mentioned in the love video, who check for you and keep hold you accountable, do you have anyone who's like older than you um, who keeps you accountable who keeps you in check because like i said you know with um mentorship and with people holding you accountable because like i said in the other video like who is gonna give you advice or who is going to come for you but in love and um and for you to be able to receive it that's the other part about um people checking you or wanting your iron to be sharpened or having mentors you have to be open to receiving that check because if your heart isn't open if you're not teachable then you kind of like it is it's kind of like a lose-lose situation so um my prayer is that we all have a heart and a desire to have a mentor that we all get the mentors that we need i prayed for a mentor like a direct mentor over me and i have one um, now and I my boyfriend and I have a couple they are a couple husband and wife who are our mentors um, who are walking with us in this time in our lives so um, I just feel like we get to the point where we feel like we don't need no help we don't need nobody to tell us nothing we don't need nobody to do nothing for us but we do you know I just feel like we get to the point where we're just like kind of big-headed and we don't think that we need correction or we don't think that we need um someone to be in our business but we need someone to be in our business we all need to have at least one person an adult who's like not our parent or like our sister who's in our business because they are going to give you the real they are going to correct you like my mentor she came from my life not really um she's really sweet i love her but she will come for your life if you need her to um but she was like your light is dim i was like She's like, no, when I first met you, you, your light was a lot brighter. You were shining a lot brighter, blah, 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 blah. And this is our first like one-on-one -on -one meeting. And she was like, your light is dim. And so I, and I knew it and I felt it and I knew my light was dim. I knew my prayer time was shady. I knew, um, my, my alone time with God wasn't where it's, where it was supposed to be. Um, but it was evident to her and she was like, yeah, nope. So you need someone who is not going to be afraid to come for you because she's not afraid to come for me. She will be like, look, child, this is what you need to do. And I love her for that. Her husband will come for my boyfriend like, look, bro, this is what, you know. So it's just, I don't know. It's just important. Um, my little sisters, you know, they'll, I'll come for their lives too. They know it, but they know I do it in love. I love them. Um, but we, we all need someone over us. We all need someone who we can talk to. We all need someone who is going to guide us on whatever path. So you, it's, it might not just be one person. You might have a business mentor. You might have a spiritual mentor. You might have a marriage mentor. Like my boyfriend and I have, we have a married couple who are our marriage mentors. So it's just whatever phase of life you're in, you should always be teachable. So if you're not teachable, if you think that you don't have to learn or, or grow or, or know anything new, then it's kind of like you'll be stuck and then you'll be stagnant. So um, we don't want to be stagnant and be stuck in the same place and wondering why. And it's like, oh, because I'm not submitted to anyone. I'm not telling anyone my business. I'm not saying you got to tell everybody your business because you don't have to, but you should have someone who is over you. You should have an adult, um, someone older than you who you can talk to and who you can confide in and who can help you through whatever season that you're in because if if they're a seasoned person then they've gone through something <laughs> that you have or will or might go through you can glean from that like you can learn from that and you can grow from that not saying that you have to take whatever advice or you have to actually do what they did in that situation 
But at the same time, they can kind of steer you away and lead you down the path of where you should go as opposed to this path over here because you're trying to figure it out. You got somebody right here in front of you saying, hey, this is what I did. Take this to the Lord. See what you're supposed to do. But they're giving you like a blueprint. They're like helping you out. They're like getting you out. the. They're helping to get you out of that pit. So it's just important for um, us to have someone. It's important to have mentors. It's important to have someone that you can trust, that you can go to, that you can talk to. Um, because whatever season of life you're in, we, we should always be learning. We should always be growing. We should always be um, evolving into a more mature, um, a better version of ourselves each and every day. And without mentorship and without having mentors in your life, it's really hard to do that on your own. So my prayer is that we all um, have someone over us, that we all have someone that we can trust, and that we will get to the point where if you are at the point where you feel like, I don't need nobody, I'm going to pray for you. Because I feel like that's pride. It's very prideful. And um, pride comes before the fall. And you can't grow in that space. You can't grow in that headspace. You can't grow um, if you if you feel like you know everything or you feel like there's that no one can ever tell you anything because it's not true. You can always learn. You can always grow. You can always be a better version of ourselves. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.